Z gang, yes sir. Yo, 10.9k subs, bro. Y'all boys going crazy for real, for real. Y'all boys going stupid for real, bro. We're almost at 11k, and 11k we're gonna be nine nine k away from 20k. I saw a funny comment about someone saying when I get to 20k, um, I was gonna say what. 20% away from creator code or some shit like that. I need to go back through the comments and look for who said that. That shit was funny as hell. Anyways, guys, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn on post notifications so you know when I post, which is every day. I know I've been a bit busy, but I'm trying to round up the university assignments. And this time next week, I should be a free man. Yes, sir. Let's go. There are many things about GPO that have been kind of forgotten uh lost in the times uh lost in the source whatever you want to call it one of these things being this yes this i mean these all of these things have been forgotten about um and they're really just adding into the game for no reason i don't know okay so if we think back towards release update zero these boxes were kind of useful actually kind of very useful uh they used to give you a decent amount of exp not only that they also used to give you money um <laughs> but now even new players do not really pick these up unless they come across it but if then no one goes out of their way to search for these boxes anymore uh treasure chest probably one of the most useless things in the game <laughs> along with something else we're going to talk about today but i don't even think they gave that much money i think it was about 100 pele a piece which back then might have been a lot but now not really uh and yeah but we just see them across the map now. I don't even think players open them anymore. Even if they do come across them. Huh. Forgotten. The next item we're going to talk about is this. Well, I wouldn't really consider it an item. I'd call it a game feature. The sand boxes. Sand boxes. What do you want to call these? Um, sand dunes. Whatever you want to call them absolutely pointless absolutely pointless what is the point of this being in gpo again if we have a flashback to update one um update one I, yeah update one slash update zero um when foyu gems were kind of rumored to be about that leaked video of that guy getting a whole bunch of SP through the Foyu gem. Um, which was a hilarious video, by the way. Got the player base wondering, how can we get Foyu gems? I think someone said, someone made up some random number. Like it was a one in a thousand chance to find a Foyu gem. But we didn't know how to get these gems. Um, people thought they spawned f like devil fruits. So instead of a devil fruit spawning, it would be a foyu gem. And other people um, thought that you could find them through treasure chests. And other people thought you could find them through digging. Um, now, as you know, there's only one location to dig the sand dunes, and that's the beginner spawn um, island of beginnings. But there's no other places where these dunes exist. So honestly, what was the point of adding it? Now, if you do dig to the end of the sand dune, there's a chance that you'll get Pelly, and there's a chance a treasure box will um, appear after you dig away all the sand. But at the same time, what's the point? 
what's the point? You could go around the map and find these boxes normally, or you could just go farm money by doing quests or just farming treasure chests. So what is the point of the dunes? Why would anyone want to go all the way back to Star Island to, f to, to farm these, to dig these holes? There's not much of a point. Um, I'm not too sure what the whole idea was of the dunes in the first place. Which brings us to our next game feature. Health bottle and shark repellent. Now, I'm probably one of the few players who never ever went out of their way to buy one of these items. There was one occasion where I bought the health the health thing back in like update one. And these were for wars. But other than that, never bought these again. Um, even even then for wars they were inconvenient to have because if you died with them in your inventory tab they would disappear and to even even if you buy multiple of them you have to go into your bag and put it on your equip it to your toolbar in order to drink it and there are going to be multiple occasions where you don't get the chance to drink it in a war because there's just too much going on. So, I mean, I found these items useless. Uh, a lot of people used to take them with them to boss farm with. Again, I mean, maybe back then it might have been efficient, but now there's no point. You have way more, you regen more health than, than the bottle does. And then you do when you drink the bottle. I'm not, I don't remember the exact numbers of the regenerate with it, but I'm pretty sure it wasn't good. It's probably less than candy cane um, regenerate. So, uh, yeah, I am kind of useless. And we're not even going to get into shark repellent. Honestly, what's the point of buying this shit? Sharks, <laughs> I mean, one, I don't even know how long they last, but it can't be that long. And two, sharks are farmable. Like a level a level one can beat up a shark if, if they if they wanted to. So I mean, is there really a point? I don't really feel like there's a point. But I guess if you want to buy them, go ahead and buy them. On top of that, you can only buy one at a time. What the fuck? You can't select multiple or buy multiple. You literally have to sit there and click. Which is a feature that needs to be changed. Like, why is that even in a 2020 game? This is a 2020 game. And, and and you have to buy items one at a time. We can't select more. Come on. This is, bro, we're in the 21st century. Let me select multiple fucking items at a time? God damn, what the hell? On to our next item. <laughs> Which we discussed about earlier in the video the foe you gem the foe you gem um i mean this is forgotten now but it never used to be like this the foe you gem used to used to be the trending topic um how can i get a foe you gem foe you gem foe you gem omg he's a foe you gem user foe you gem ruining the game ah oh, alucard has foe you gems boosted boosted now Foe you gem used to be the trending topic. There was a whole bunch of rumors and videos on how you could get a foe you gem. Even though the person making the video would never have a foe you gem. Which is beyond me. How are you taking advice from someone who doesn't even have the gem? Um, I mean, I guess we were all just gullible back then. But foe you gems definitely died down now. Now that foe you has... Um, already said that the foe you gem never really existed. Um, it was all just a quote unquote, like it was a ploy. Like foe you and Alucard were in on the joke. It was an inside joke, and they made the gem just to to get the player base. I don't know out of their seats. I don't really get what the point of why they did that, but they did it. Um, I mean, when people found out that it was just all a joke, um, people were kind of upset. Some people were upset, some people didn't care, some people were relieved. 
Um, I was one of the people who didn't really care for the boosted stats. I enjoyed playing the game as it was. But what I will say is um, when this whole Foyu Gem stuff got debunked, um, all the players that did have boosted stats were known to be um, very close with devs or are devs um, or help the game with in any in some sort of way shape or form with coding slash um what um whatever 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 they help the game somehow or friends will follow you so that's how those players got their booster stats which are all in-house alucard speaking of alucard the forgotten house alucard <laughs> what a joke of a crew um, Alucard is no longer a crew. They have been disbanded, and they formed a new house. I forgot the name. Quote the forgotten. Um, I forgot the name of the crew. Apparently, they are meant to be coming back. Update three, but update three is here, and I haven't seen any of them. Interesting, but um, yeah, Alucard was a was a crew that really. Those guys are scumbags. They they did any and everything to not only piss off Silver Moons, to piss off the player base, the community. Uh, the only people that really liked or vouched for Alucard were the people who thought if they bum licked them would get boosted stats. Cough, cough, JP, cough, cough, um, or a handful of Silver Moon X, X Silver Moon players that left the crew to try to join JP or Alucard, which failed. Now, there are a bunch of old enemy crews that that um, opt against Silver Moon just so that they could, you know, try ally or befriend JP slash Alucard members. However, that didn't work out for them. Uh, most of those crews are either disband or inactive today. So... That's where bomb licking got them. <laughs> Nowhere. Um, but yeah, I think pretty much, I'm pretty sure that's it. Whatever items and weapons are forgotten. I think that covers everything. So guys, if you like this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you subscribe to the channel. We're trying to reach that 20K. We are basically 9K away from 20K, which is kind of crazy. We're already on the journey to 20k um but yeah i love appreciate you boys and i'm gonna see you in the next one